Hello, in this presentation we'll talk about the procedure for setting up new classes each mod in Moodle Rooms. So once we get the classes in Moodle Rooms, we need to do this process and the objectives will be we will be able to edit and upload course syllabi to Moodle Rooms, edit and upload homework grid to Moodle Rooms, edit and upload welcome letter to Moodle Rooms, edit instructor checklist and send in as instructed, make the syllabus homework grid and welcome letter visible to students, upload picture to Moodle Rooms, and post day one introductions. So in order to do this process, first we want to get into Moodle Rooms, which will look something like this. Of course, your class may be different than uh, this class, but otherwise it will look something like this. Then we want to turn editing on, which is this icon up here. Once that is done, we will see these editing features there next to the items in the Moodle Rooms indicating editing is on. Then we're going to take a look at the uh, syllabi, the homework grid, the welcome letter. These are the day one kind of documents that we need to adjust. Notice that the syllabi is currently visible to students, indicated by the fact that it is not grayed out. The others are not, indicated by the fact that they are grayed out. First thing, we're going to edit and upload the syllabi first. So here's the syllabi. We're just going to click on that, download that. Once you do, you'll download it like this. This is a Chrome. If you're in Internet Explorer or Firefox, it'll download a different way. But however it downloads, download it, open it. And once we open it up, it will look something like this. This is just the top of the syllabi. Only thing we need to enter is this information here. We do want to review it and whatnot, but we're going to enter our contact information, something like this. We're going to enter our contact information like so. And then we want to re-upload it to Moodle Rooms. We want to replace this document, of course, with our new document that now has our current information in it. So I have now saved it to the desktop. So there's the file that I saved to the desktop that has now changed the name. And we are going to upload that to Moodle Rooms. We're going to go back to Moodle Rooms over here. So we're in Moodle Rooms. Going to go back to that syllabi. Going to hit this edit drop down. Make sure that the editing is on in order to do so. We can edit the document then. Once we do that, we will then see this <clears throat> screen here. We'll see the document that's already in there. That's the one we downloaded. We want to upload a new one. I'm going to upload the document first and then delete this one. So to upload a document, we would hit this button there. That will take us to a browse screen like this. In this screen, we want to make sure that this upload a file is selected. That's usually the default. It will usually be selected by default. If it's not, click there. Then we're going to select uh, the choose file. This will be a browse button. We'll browse through our computer. Then we're going to locate the file on our computer. We put ours on the desktop in this example. So it's on the computer, it's on the desktop, and there's the file. So if we click and open that, then uh, we'll see a screen like this, and we want to go ahead and, and upload that. So then after the screen, we'll upload that file. Then I'm going to delete the other file, the file that's already in there. Now we have two files in there. I'm going to go ahead and delete the original so that we only have our updated file by clicking on it, then selecting delete. Then we'll have one file in there. At that point, we can say save and return to course, and then we'll have our updated file within the course. Once we do that, we want, if it wasn't visible before, the syllabi was, but some of the others are not. If it's not visible, you click the edit button, and you click that uh, hide icon, which looks like an eyeball. And when the eyeball is open, we, it is visible to students, and that's what we want to do after we have updated. Same process for the homework grid. You're going to click on the homework grid. You're going to download it in the same process that we looked at before. So if there's any questions on that, take a look at the syllabi again. Once it's downloaded, it'll look like this. And what we need to edit here will be that we need to put our name up top, uh, the course end date, and we need to put the dates of the ending of each week. We can find that information very easily on the Moodle Rooms shell. So if we just look at our Moodle Rooms shell and we look at the dates, the dates will already have been updated. And we're just going to take these end dates, boom, 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 and put them right there. And that's basically all we have to do for that. Then we're going to upload it once again using the same process that we did for the syllabi. So we're going to save this document to, you know, wherever we're going to save it to. Then we want to upload it in the same fashion we did for the syllabi. So you can go through that process again. Then the welcome letter. Same thing. We're going to click on the welcome letter. We're going to download it. Same process we did for the syllabi to download it to our desktop. Once it opens, it'll look like this. What do we need to change here? We need to change the items indicated. This is a locked document, so we can only change certain items in it, such as this item, this item, this item, this item, this item, and here. Uh, once those are changed, you want to save that uh, to your desktop. 
this here, your uh, signature and your name, may not be able to type your signature in there. You might, I mean, you might have to just type it, and that is okay if that's the only way we can type it in there. So we're not actually having a signature there, so that's fine. We do want to save it as a PDF, PDF file, however. So when we give this to the students, we want to make it into a PDF file generally. The way to do that is to select File, Save As, and then when you save the document, you'll see this file type drop-down window, the file type generally being a Word document. If you hit the drop-down there and select a PDF file, then it will save as a PDF file and students will not be able to see uh, these icons with the locked cells and whatnot. We'll save it as a PDF file in that way. Once it's saved as a PDF file, then we can upload it in the same fashion we did before with the syllabi, only difference being that the file type will now be a PDF rather than a Word document. Okay, so then we have the checklist. So we're going to open the checklist same way. We're going to click on it, download it, open the same way we did for the syllabi. Once that is open, the checklist will look like this. Now this checklist is not for the, for the students, this is for us. The curriculum design team has designed the checklist to help us review the, the checklist and also help us to communicate with the design team if there are any problems with the checklist. So you want to go through the checklist and make sure that all the items on the checklist are accounted for. If you have any questions about them, uh, ask the supervisor on the questions about the checklist and see why they're on the checklist. And then once that is done, then you're going to you're going to fill this checklist out like up here and you're going to put there's no changes if there's no changes and then you're going to email this checklist to the email indicated in the document and try to put it in there in the format that it has indicated so you're going to save it in this format and then you are going to email it to this email using your charter college email and that sends it to the design team. So if there's any questions down here, if there's any problems, they're going to review this and see if there's any problems. Also gives a verification that we have looked at the courses and that we are ready to go as of the start of the class. So then we want to make sure all items are visible. Remember, if it's grayed out, it's not visible. If it's not grayed out, it is visible. And the way we do that is we hit edit and we select the eyeball to be open and that will make it not grayed out. In order to do that, you'll have to turn editing on as we showed in the beginning. The one thing that will remain grayed out will be the checklist. We do not want to show the checklist to students. That is for our use, our purposes. And so make sure that that one remains grayed out in Moodle Rooms. So upload picture to Moodle Rooms. We should only have to do this one time. We won't have to do it every mod unless you choose to change the picture every mod. And that will be located up here. You're going to choose your items up there. Once you go into there, you'll see this screen. Then you want to edit profile. Once you open edit profile, you will then see uh, this item. You want to hit the user picture, and that's already been dropped down. It won't have the little triangle. It won't be dropped down. So you hit the little triangle. Then you can upload the picture there. Of course, in order to upload the picture, you're going to have to save some kind of picture onto your desktop or somewhere in order to find it and then upload it here. Uh, day one introductions. So we are required to do the day one introductions. We require students to do the day one introductions as well. We could put those into the day one introductions there, which is a discussion forum. And if we go in here, this is the instructions we give to the students. We uh, want to do basically the same thing, give a detailed uh, you know, explanation of who we are, what our background is. And if we wanted to include a video on that as well, we are encouraged to do that, just to give an introduction to the students. Uh, we do have a, another video that shows how to make instructor videos and uh, you can review that and take a look at that if that is something of interest. But you just would hit reply there and put your information in here.